Right, to set up the camera, the first thing you need to do is download and install the uh, NetIPC um, application. As you can see, it's on my, my screen just here. Um, once you've done that, then open the app. And what you'll need to do is create an account. So if you've already done so, you just log in. If you haven't, then you need to press the register button here. All you need to do is create a username and a password uh, for you to, to log in. Um, once you're ready, then just press log in. Now it wants me to link my um, mail to, to the accounts. Okay, so once it's been confirmed, which it has, then it should be able to go back now. Okay, now what I need to do is uh, go to the actual device itself. And I need to switch it on. So uh, I've already put an SD card in there. Uh, I think you should, you probably need to do that before you can set it up. Uh, but then switch it on. And you'll see on the side here, you should get uh, a blue light. Um, starts flashing now what would happen next is if you go back to the, the phone settings that you should get in your Wi-Fi settings you should see a camera um, so you see this third one down look so you got a YX0055639 that's my camera yours is going to be slightly different but it's two two letters and uh, followed by some numbers now, if you're not seeing that, uh, you might need to factory reset the camera. Uh, it's worth waiting a little bit first, but if, if it's been a while, you might need to factory reset it. So to do that, you just press and hold that mode button there until the red and blue lights start flashing. So if I press and hold now, yeah, that's factory reset now. Um, so if it wasn't showing before, then after the camera has reset itself, you'll see it in the in the list. Let's make sure that's back on. Okay, once that's done, click on the camera. So you're now connected to the camera itself, but there's no internet on your phone at this point because your phone is literally just talking directly to the camera. And as you'll see here, I'll get a notification saying, this network has no internet access because I'm just talking again directly to the camera. There is no internet on the camera, so I press yes. So now that I'm connected to the camera, if we go back into the NetIP app and press play, you see now it's picked up the camera automatically. Uh, if I move it around a little bit, there you are. Let's go around the table. That gives you sound as well. That gives you sound as well. Sound as I'm going to give a bit of feedback because I'm sat next to it, so I'll turn that off. But so at the moment, as long as I'm connected um, with the camera uh, via Wi Fi, then I can see I can see the live view from, from the camera. Now, the trouble is, if I leave if I leave the property, um, I'm not going to be able to view the camera anymore. Also, if I wanted to connect back to the internet, I'll have to connect back to my router and again you won't be able to see the camera. So what we need to do is connect it to our router. So if I click on settings cog here, and you've got various different settings, but the main one we need to contract at the moment is the Wi-Fi settings, which is like the fourth one down. And this is a list of all the, um, uh, all the networks near me. So my camera is searching for the uh, the nearest networks. Now I need to connect to the SUK guest one because that's our Wi-Fi. Obviously you'll need to connect your camera to your Wi-Fi. So you click on that. 
if I enter in the password and press confirm now it's saying please check the Wi-Fi password uh, and it's asking you to check it because if you make a mistake at this point we'll end up in that uh, locked out situation I talked about earlier where you won't be able to see the camera in your Wi-Fi and it won't show up on the um, uh, on the device and so you would need to actually reset it again but as long as you get the the um, password correct press confirm then it will take a minute or so but the camera will go offline so if we go back even though it says online if I press if I press play it is not playing anything because the cam's actually resetting itself at the moment yeah there's nothing coming through yet yeah it's back online again now so now what's happened is even though it doesn't look much different my phone is now connected to the the router instead of the camera and so this camera is now online um, so that's all you need to do once you've done that then it doesn't matter where you are as long as the camera is on all you need to do is open up the app and press play after a few seconds we should get the uh, live footage just way my fingers in front there you go. so there's a few other features in so if you go to settings which is the cog at the top device sharing means I can show it to another account if you want someone else to to view it um, and we've got SD card setting or TF card setting here and that just lets you choose whether or not you want sound recording or if you want to format the device and then we've also got a firmware upgrade restart now the that will actually the restart will actually um, I believe it will actually reset it back to how it was to start with so don't only do that if you're changing it to another Wi-Fi um, you can turn on and off the LEDs so if you don't want the light showing you can turn those on and off and we've got alarm settings so basically this tells you when it's going to record um, so we've got PIR which is like heat sensor which means that if you've got that switched on it'll only record when someone walks past and we've got it set so it'll give me a notification yep. and it looks like we get cloud recording as well uh, so it not only records the SD card um, but it actually uploads the footage so if the camera was to be taken I believe you should still be able to get a hold of the, the recordings uh, and then this is the sensitivity so if, at the bottom there if it's recording too much so too many things are triggering it you can adjust the sensitivity up or down depending on, on which way you need to okay those are the the, the main ones there are a few of the lot of settings that you can uh, choose automatic wake up device that was that one there is for power so if the if the device runs out of battery and you put it out on charge then if you've got automatic wake up switched on it will turn on automatically if you've got it switched off then the device will just charge but not turn back on again uh, I'm not too sure what the image one is oh, it's, it's the way you want the image to be displayed so we can make it we can mirror it horizontally or vertically um, and we've got light mode so you, you've got outdoor indoor mode and um, we've got a time display on or off, brightness, contrast. So you can just, just change this, uh, the settings slightly um, to how you're going to see the live video and the recordings. And stick device on top, I believe that just puts, if you've got several devices, that'll just put it to the the top. Because uh, you can have, if you've got more than one, you might want to change where it is. But that's it basically, that, that will get you set up and that should hopefully. Uh, give you enough to get going if you've got any questions so give me a call back